Iceland! Finally got here at last. Anyway, we're now going to catch our bus because we're in the Reykjavik is about 45 minutes away. So we're going to catch a bus which we booked online. It's just over there. Let's go! We've just arrived at our location, our guest house, the Igdigo guest house. We'll have the price up in the corner. This is where we'll be staying for the next four days. We just the room is really looks really good. It's just basic, really. It's probably really cheap what we get paid for it compared to other places in Iceland. Unfortunately, we don't have a bathroom. We have a shared bathroom, so we have to come out here. Hello. This is our bathroom, toilet, and the shower. We also have a kitchen where we can actually cook. So we can buy our own food, cook stuff, which is going to be a lot cheaper than buying in supermarkets. I mean, buying it in restaurants, we'll just buy it from supermarkets. They even had their own cupboard there where they've got sh people with left food for people to use, called shared food. Got a fridge. Got a computer over there, we can use the internet. Come down here, we've got all like leaflets of excursions and stuff like that. So this is our, our hotel for the next four days. This is the Igdalu Guest House. Our hotel, and this is the view we've got. Absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, the weather's not the best. We are in Iceland, so this is the Harper Concert Hall and Conference Centre. It's a truly unique and beautiful building with lots to see inside and terrific views of the city and shore. At night time, it lights up all different colours, and it's a really amazing place to see. Hello, we've got the Rapid Pitch Fish Bar, and we've just ordered fish and chips. 4,740. I know it's dear, but they are absolutely amazing and beautiful. One of the best fish and chips I've ever tasted. Well, we've really caught the weather now, haven't we? Just look at it. One minute it was sunny, next day it's snowing now we've got house stones we've had wind and this is only the first day oh my god come to Iceland Jenny says oh it'll be lovely could have been on a beach now somewhere in Spain with cocktails and a bloody swimming drunk swimming in 80 degrees oh no come here she says a bloody freezing <laughs> Anyway, we're now walking through Reykjavik, we're trying to get to the church. Google Maps is not helping. But it says, at the moment, for some reason, there's construction work everywhere. Everywhere we go, they're building stuff. So loads of roads are closed. So you've got to find detours, and Google Maps doesn't know about detours. Well, we finally arrived at the church. Don't ask me to say it. I can't even pronounce it. It'll be along the top. <laughs> we had fun getting here with all the detours we had to take and Google Maps not working. Uh, we had to go back to the old fashioned way. We had to go and get a map. Anyway, we're here. This church is actually the biggest church in Iceland. 
And apparently it's named after an Icelandic poet. Don't even ask me to say his name, neither. <laughs> With the food being so expensive here in Iceland, especially to eat out, we've decided that we've been shopping and we're going to get some food for our trips tomorrow. We've been to a store called Bonus and we've picked this lot up. We've got bread, milk, chocolate bars, coke, stuff for sandwiches. The shop we went to was called Bonus. It's like uh, Iceland's version of Audi or Lidl. And that lot has come to about 2,213 kroner. That works out about £14, which is not too bad compared to what we were just paying. Two lots of fish and chips in a restaurant for 30 quid. I mean, that is expensive. So, this works out a lot cheaper. Good morning! As you can see, it's very windy today. It's been snowing. Today is day two. We're on our way to the Golden Circle. God, that was bloody freezing. I'm glad they put my thermals on. Let's go. <laughs> Another town I can't pronounce the name of, but this is a small town just outside of Reykjavik. Apparently in 2008 there was an earthquake. And what they decided to do while they were repairing all the damage, they found the crack that we're looking at now so they put the glass floor so people could look right down into the crack below. So we're here at Kerry the Crater. Oh my god, I can't believe them people are walking on the ice. It's mad, absolutely crazy. We're at Golfus. At last, I can actually say something. Golfus Waterfall. This is Iceland's most visited waterfall, and you can see why. That is spectacular. Just amazing. Oh my god, it's really slippery here. You're better off walking on the snow and not on the board. Whoops! <laughs> That's me getting nearly gone. So we're standing here at the geysers, waiting for it to erupt. Got to wait here about between five and eight minutes. So. It could be any time, or it could be ages. <laughs> they reckon they can shoot as high as 30 meters. So let's just hope we've got a big one. There's a lot of steam there, it's gonna go. I'm not putting that on. <laughs> the next one, yeah? Oh, it's so true! I did it! <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Tea bag, a bit of milk and sugar. Perfect group. <laughs> Wow. 
Good morning, welcome day two of our trip to Iceland and today we're on the south coast. Well, last night we did go on the trip to try and see the northern lights but it was a bit of a disaster. We didn't see a bloody sparkle. Anyway, so today we're on the south coast and we're starting off the traditional Icelandic hot dog. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Let's have a go. Mm. <laughs> Tastes amazing. Hello, and we are at the waterfall. Just look at that. Isn't that amazing? Wow. You can walk up the path up there to the top, but I don't fancy it today. <laughs> Not fit enough. Not fit enough. We should get a tripod, you know, shouldn't we? Look at all these people with tripods. Oh yeah, we'll take about an hour and set it up. <laughs> right. Done. That's it. So we're here on the glacier. Come to this. Isn't that amazing? Just look at that view. It's something you find on a Christmas card. Anyway, it was a bit slippy getting here. And it's not so good because there is a bit of a drop on one side. Why do I keep hearing the theme music to tie that tannic in my head up as well? I ain't gonna sing it. That's amazing. <coughs> so we're just not on the next cat beak and we're trying the lamb soup. Give it a go. Mm. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Mm. Tastes like the meat of a, maybe a steak and chicken pie. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's really nice. Mm. Yeah. We're at the Black Sea Beach. Black oh. Sand Beach. Black Sand Beach. Thank you, pardon. As you can see, the sand is all black. Hence the name. Anyway, we've started another storm again. We've just been to Veal. Veal. It was hot, and now it's cold again. They do warn you not to go too close to the water because of the sneaker waves. There's always one big one that will turn up when somebody's got their back turned taking a photo. There's a lot of signs around. We've come to another waterfall. The good thing about this one is you can actually go behind it, but unfortunately, there's a gate there that says closed and it's stopping us from going behind it. Right, I just stepped over the gate. Hopefully no one's going to tell me off. Here we go. That's only warm. 
I hope it's hotter in this side. <laughs> now it's bloody freezing until we get to the water. Oh, I nearly went flying there. <laughs> oh, hey, it gets, it gets even warmer the more you go. Yeah. I can't see a thing if it's... <laughs> it's lovely! Hey, we're on the hunt for the bar. <laughs> Where's the bar? Where's the bar? We can't find the bar! <laughs> Good news! We found the bar! So we're making our way there now. Jenny's run to the bar. Never get that get there that quick when it's time to get up in the morning. Oh no. But soon as I said where well, Jenny there's the bar, she's gone. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> You're spilling it! <laughs> Don't spill me, bitch! <laughs> oh, at least the sleet has now stopped. <laughs> this is a life for what? Warm. What it was, now in. <laughs> and, and you've got beer. Oh, beer, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to go to Corfu. This is what you call brilliant. <laughs> so, have you enjoyed Iceland, Jenny? I've loved it. It's the top uh, place to go in the world, I think. Is this one of your favourite places of all time? This. this is one place you've got to come. I know it's expensive, it's a one off, you've just got to do it. It was just amazing. <laughs> While here in Iceland, we've been using this app called Happy Hour, spelt with an A. What it does, it gives you all the happy hour prices, which pubs have got happy hours, all the two for one deals. It's really good. Well, we're on our way home. Had an absolutely brilliant time here in Iceland. Absolutely love it. But now we've got to go back to Manchester leaving this wonderful snow behind us. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Join us on our next adventures. Bye from Iceland.